Hey everybody and welcome back to Das Studio. This is another Let's Render and um, so yeah, <laughs> so Let's Render. While I'm getting set up here, if you're interested in supporting the channel, feel free to visit the Patreon in the description down below or uh, join the channel by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button. Huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon anyway, that really helps me out. So yeah, stay cool guys. So I am going to bring in a character into the scene. I'm going to have the mum character and she's going to be sunbathing on this sunbed here. So I'm going to just quickly nip over to my contents library on my other screen, shouldn't take me a sec, and import this character into the scene. She's going to appear off camera so that I can put some clothes on her. Alrighty, so here she is, the lady in question, standard uh, mum character from most of my other renders, and we're going to get her to just sit down here on the, uh, what do you call this, a uh, sun lounger. So uh, let's just have a quick look in our smart content, we'll make sure we've got the uh, character selected, and then we can go into poses, and we can go to there might be some poses with props and accessories that we can use, like um, there's some, but I don't think we have any for this particular uh, this particular sun lounger. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to poses by function, and I'm going to just put uh, reclining. See if we've got anything in there that matches the kind of thing that we want. Generally, loads and loads and loads of um, <laughs> loads of poses to choose from here so I've just got to find one that looks the most natural and the least awkward and uh, maybe even go as far as to look in sitting as well so this one should do the trick just get her into the right position and then we can adjust as necessary so she's obviously needing to go uh, rotating in that direction which is going to be about minus 90 nice and easy just give that a moment to have a think and do what it's got to do and then we can drag it over here and move ourselves around so we can just hit that button there and then that'll give us a better view of what we're doing so we want to kind of lower her down into the chair keeping mindful of where her head is so that it doesn't sink into the seat too much. We may have to make some adjustments to the pose. I'm kind of prepared for that. I think that's pretty much where we need to be there. So we can just zoom in. <coughs> Excuse me. So we are in that situation. Let's have a look and see where her hand is. It's currently there. So we could actually take her upper chest and we could bend it forward slightly. And then that moves her entire upper body basically and then we can select her again and move her. Basically I don't want her head to be the thing that's supporting the weight of her back. I really want her back to be pressed up against the back of the chair. Okay, running a little slow today apparently. There we go, that's what we're after. So we can now bring that back. Head is still a little bit too close. And yeah, we've still got about an inch or so to move there, so we just bring her back there. Right, now her back is up against the back of the chair. I can bend her neck forward slightly. Oops, that'll be the wrong way. Bend it forwards. And then go for the upper chest again a little bit. <clears throat> That's what we want. There we go. Upper chest and rotate that forwards a smidge more. Oh, we have to go in the right direction, just so that it lifts her head off of that bench slightly. There we go. Now she's correctly positioned from the hips up. We can just about see a little bit of an air gap there, so we just need to select the character again and drop it down ever so slightly just so that she's actually making contact with the chair and a little bit of sinking in is fine. 
Okay, so now we can look at the feet and see what's going on there. I think in the case of this leg, all we really need to do is bend that leg down a touch. It's a little bit of a finesse job, this one, because a tiniest little move and you end up clipping through the chair completely, which is not what we want. So we've got to find the right angle. So 36, 3, 1. <clears throat> Thirty-eight. So I'm going to say minus thirty-seven, and let's just see where that puts us. Close. Minus thirty-seven point three. Getting closer. So I reckon if we go to minus thirty-seven point six. No, still more. Okay, let's try minus thirty-eight. See what that gives us. There we go. Okay, that's fine. There we go. It's touching, not quite clipping. Where the toes are bent or they're curled, we can lift those up ever so slightly. And can we move the pinkies individually? It doesn't look that way. That's fine. We can just bend that up ever so slightly, just so that the pinky isn't actually embedded in the wood. Or failing that, we could actually control Z that and just bend the foot up slightly so that we are better. There we go. We've gone a bit too far. We come back, please. There we go. That's what we want. Making contact with the outside of the foot. Inside of the foot is fine. Now we can do the same thing with this leg. This one's going to take a little bit more faffing around, I suspect, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, gone a bit too far. Come back. Come back. And let's see what position that is in that works. Again, very, very fiddly. Let's try minus 71.5. Let's try minus 72.2. Better, 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 better. Okay, so now we've got our character. Feet are touching, bumps touching. Back of shoulders is touching, head's touching. There is going to have to be a bit of deforcery going on, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go into my simulation settings. I'm going to turn off the start bones from memorized pose, and I'm just going to run a simulation, and then I'll get you back. Alrighty, so that's the simulation run. So now the hair is resting more or less naturally. It says it's never going to be perfect. Let's be honest. This is Das Studio. So now we want to get her facial expression on point. So we're going to just go into my smart objects. Going to select the character again. Uh, go for a expression. She's chilling out. She's having a good time. She can have her eyes closed. Uh, so obviously, again, a situation with Dad Studio is that a lot of the eyes closed poses tend to be very sexual. So it's just trying to find one that makes it look like she's sunbathing and not doing something else. Um, yeah, I've got a couple here. This one's probably the least sketchy. Get a nice eyes closed pose there. She's gonna, she's looking a little bit happy, but not like. I'm going to get arrested kind of happy and, and uh, yeah, it's all right. So let's just pop this into NVIDIA Iron Mode. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so we're in a slight situation. I'm just trying to decide whether or not to move the deck chair and the character. She's obviously having a lovely time, but only her bottom half is actually in the sun, which sort of defeats the purpose of sunbathing. So I have a feeling that I'm going to have to move the character and the deck chair as well. Otherwise, we're going to be into a very weird situation. So I'll we'll just turn on selection of that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the deck chair and I'm going to put that into a group called uh, I don't know it doesn't matter we'll just call it group 2 is fine group 2 works and then I'm also going to put the mum character into that group might have to do it twice there we go right now she's moved into there now we're in a situation where we can actually move 
her and the chair at the same time. So we go back into texture shaded mode, spin the tool around, grab this group, and then I'm just gonna move it, I don't know, kind of there, that far. Go back into uh, NVIDIA Iron Mode, just gonna swing the camera back around again. And see what happens now. She should be in the sun this time at least. Okie doke, now she's in the sun, looks a lot better. And she doesn't look like she's having too good of a time if you get my drift, so we'll just pop that into there. And I'm going to just leave that group as it is for now. I'll sort it out later. I'm not gonna save over my current save file, so it shouldn't be a problem. So the next thing is, she's sunbathing and she's not wearing any sunscreen so now i need to add a wet skin kind of effect to her so that it looks like she's sweating a little bit so we'll just pop onto my smart content again see if we can find something that's suitable should have plenty of opportunities plenty of, of options just gonna go with a really standard wet skin shell hopefully this shouldn't make her look ridiculously shiny we want a little bit of sheen but not so much that it makes her look like she's leaking for one of a better way of putting that so we'll just see how this wet skin shader makes the image look it's going to take a minute to load because their studio as always okay so uh, let's have a look she certainly looks wetter than she did before. I think maybe that's a little bit too much, but rather than reloading another one, what I can do is I can come down to the skin shell, in surface tab. Oh, it's going to be annoying and do that, isn't it? All right, okay, well, let's see how it looks. If it, perhaps we attack it from a slightly different angle, it might just be the, the way that the light's reflecting off it. It doesn't look that bad all things considered it she does look perhaps a little bit wetter than i would have liked but it's not that bad it's okay and realistically if i don't like it i can turn that off and we can see if there is a better option i can go back to her character and we can see if there's a slightly less obvious So let's just have a look and see what else we've got. I don't want to go too mad. I say the geometry shells are the easiest way of doing this because it doesn't really involve it. You can get rid of it as quickly as um, as you you got it. So let's try a different shell. Perhaps I'll go with. Alrighty, so this looks a little bit better. It's it's there is a sheen there, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. So we can spin around and we can see it now looks a little bit more like she's sunbathing and not laying out in a rainstorm there's, there's other options that i could go for as well if i wanted to add a little bit more but um that'll that'll work for now so now we've just got to find a good camera angle to shoot from remember that this is not a <laughs> this is not a gratuitous a gratuitous however whatever the word you want to use um kind of render it, it it's difficult to describe but yes so that this is going to be a shot of the mother character sunbathing on a sun lounger so we just got to find a good flattering angle obviously if we go too low we lose visibility and it looks a bit weird so i'm kind of thinking somewhere around this angle it's probably going to be best and then we can move the camera we want to frame up on her as much as possible without being too mad. So I'm going to go from probably down here, I reckon. Maybe a bit lower. Yeah, here works for me. Then we're going to create a new camera. Apply active viewport transforms. Yada, yada, yada. Go into camera two. In our camera parameters, we can now frame up and adjust our camera angle a little bit. Lovely Jolie, and then we can add depth of field as well. Come out far. OK, 
camera view mode there and I'm going to just drop out of um, NVIDIA IRA mode just for a minute so that I can adjust the focal distance correctly and you want it so that it's focusing on her face and the nearby body details so kind of there that's what we're after go back into camera 2 and then we want to make sure that the items in the background are still kind of there so we go back into IRA mode now and there we go, we've got a nice bit of depth of field, probably a little bit too much if I'm honest. So I'm actually going to change the f-stop to f32, just bring some of that background detail back in. And then we can just double check that any clipping and anything like that is happening. We can actually just shift click on that now so that anytime we hover the mouse over it doesn't go yellow. And we can just see if this is good. I actually think that angle in the leg is kind of weird. It's a bit too unnatural so i'm actually going to fix that i'm going to turn her in fact i'll just go with shift control clicking on there that just turns all the selectability back on and i'm actually going to fix this bend in the knee so i'm going to come back out of ira mode going to come into perspective view again so i don't accidentally move that camera this bend is just too much so what I can do is rather than fart arsing around with trying to bend and stuff, I'm actually just going to move the, the leg manually for a moment. So we can just drag this out. I just want that angle to be less. There is always a risk of doing that as well. <laughs> uh, so we... Uh, Drag that back across. Oh my god, right, control Z, control Z. Come back from there. Might have to, there we go. Okay. Might not necessarily be possible. Let's just drag that. That's more like it. We can just drag that. I just want to move it so that the angle on the inside of that leg isn't quite as harsh because it just looks like it's that's better the fold on the inside it just looks too unnatural i mean that still kind of looks a bit weird i know there are products that allow you to have like jcm's joint controlled morphs which will fix that kind of thing but rather than fanning around with that i'm just going to keep dragging there that looks okay and then we can just check that it's actually making contact with the bench tiny little bit of movement now there we go that's where we need to be cool beans now if we go back into camera two that looks a lot more natural that weird sharp thing in there i mean her knee must have been absolutely killing if i tried to do that my knees i think would pop out of their sockets and i'd end up in hospital um so right we'll go back into nvidia i and see how that looks now there we go that looks a lot more natural a lot more natural it looks like someone is actually relaxing rather than trying to burst their own um, socket joints cool right so i'm pretty happy with that i'm going to render this out and um you will see the final product at the uh, end of the video thanks ever so much for watching guys i hope you found that entertaining if nothing else let me know what you think in the comments below and i will see you in the next one but until then you take damn good care of yourselves all right bye bye